Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now believe me, you cannot make this up, and history has proven there's no honour amongst thieves. So, a 12 year old teenager who acted as part of a gang, along with a 17 year old teenager, and also a 16 year old who's still on the run, have been detained and charged with first degree murder with at least three fatal shootings in the Florida area, and worst of all, the victims and the accused were all known to each other. Now the victims are said to be 16-year-old Layla Silvernail and a 17-year-old boy who has not been named, and also a 16-year-old Camille Quales. So 17-year-old Robert LeAndrew and 12-year-old Christopher Di Atkins were marched out of a police station to a scrum of waiting news reporters, as a bewildered 17-year-old Robert LeAndrew was taken to a waiting police car, he was heard asking the officer, who are they? The officer then implied the news. Now according to police, 12 year old Christopher Diakins cracked while being questioned and revealed to police what actually happened on the tragic evening of March 30th. Now Christopher says that all six teenagers had spent the evening committing robberies, burglaries, laughing, joking, smoking and drinking, moving from trap house and other cars. A few hours before the tragic shooting, one of the victims had arranged to the sale of a weapon over Snapchat at 6.30pm on March 30th. Now everyone piled into the victim, 16 year old Layla Silvernail's silver car. The person who wanted to buy the weapon was in the front passenger seat. Everyone discussed the sale and the unnamed teenager took the money out. That was $240. Now he expected to receive the pistol, but instead the butt of the weapon was smashed across his face by a teenager wearing a mask. The buyer was then told to give up all his money, his phone, his jewellery, he did. The unnamed teenager saw an opportunity and then he quickly opened the car door and then made a run for it. As he ran, he was forced to duck and dodge ammo fire. At some point during the evening, Layla was then shot and then just placed by the side of the road in the Oklahoma area of Florida. She was still alive when she was found at the side of the road, but sadly she was transported to hospital before she passed away. Again, Layla Silvernail was only 16 years old, and then later on, a 17 year old boy was then found half a mile away on March 31st, and then tragically, Camille Quales was also found in the boot of Layla Silvernail's car that had been partially submerged in a pond. Again, she had been shot. Now, the theory is 12 year old Christopher, Robert, and Taj, the person who's still not been found, and the three victims had all been out robbing people and committing burglaries, smoking and driving around. Once the task was done, the three teens then turned on the three victims, after they probably didn't want to share the little bit of money and drugs that they had acquired. Now right now, these two teenagers are currently in custody. They are being charged with first degree M. And again, that's three fatal shootings. Surely they will all share the same burden and the same fate, which of course, if they committed it, they will be found guilty, and that's life, or worse. Condolences to all those involved. Stay safe. Safe.